Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, today I'm going to help you decide what you're going to knit in the spring. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Spring is on its way. In some places it may already have sprung. <laughs> Let's have a look today at what you can knit in spring. There are so many new opportunities coming up as the seasons change. Spring can feel like a time when you actually want to put down your needles. You've had enough. You've been knitting your winter jumpers, your scarves, your cowls, your mittens, and it feels like there's enough time knitting sat in front of the cosy fire, but it doesn't feel quite right knitting at any other time of year. Let's boost your motivation and continue the knitting. You know how many other benefits there are. You're not just sitting there um, to knit because you want something to do while it's cosy and warm indoors and it's cold outside, what you actually want to do with your knitting is recognise that it helps you um, with your physical health, with your mental health, with the um, habits that you put in place because of your knitting. You're giving yourself me time, allowing it to become a priority to do the crafting and creativity in your daily life. So all of those benefits can continue throughout the year. Let's find some ideas and some projects for you so you can continue to knit not just when it's winter, but all through the year as well. So the first thing I'm going to suggest for you is that you think about whether there are any occasions coming up which you might want to knit for. For example, we all know that Easter happens in spring and as I release this video, it's just this weekend. You could easily knit some egg cosies before the Easter weekend. You could easily knit some mug cosies. We all know that lots of eggs, Easter eggs these days come with branded mugs. Um, you may also like to knit some baskets to put mini eggs in, that kind of thing. So there are lots of options out there for Easter. Would you like to knit for Easter? Also, you may have some birthdays coming up, either in the next couple of months or throughout the summer. And if you want to plan ahead, then you can say, right, well, I need to find a pattern, I need to find the yarn, and I will knit that in three months time. But knowing that that's on your agenda will actually help you and keep you motivated to keep knitting before that time. The other thing you might have is something to look forward to, such as a holiday. And you're saying to yourself, hmm, I could actually get away this year. Let's go and find an Airbnb and we'll have a lovely holiday. Maybe it's near a beach, you want a lovely string bag to take with you when you go to the beach. You could knit it. Something like that that you've maybe never knitted before will actually boost your motivation to start knitting in the spring as well as um, having knitted all the way through the winter. Next thing that's going to keep you motivated is switching up how you knit, what you knit, what you knit with. So the first thing I will say is how about you change the yarn. Perhaps you've been knitting with lots of walls um, throughout the winter, really thick yarns as well. Perhaps it's time to pick up some cotton, some hemp, some bamboo. Um, you may have been part of the knit along we did recently, which was the baby blanket knit along. That was all in cotton. Go and get another kit and knit another one if you will in that with us. That's cotton, it's a lovely knit. That kind of thing is evergreen. What that means is it doesn't matter what time of year you knit it. Babies are being born all the time. It's a perfect kind of knit for spring. It's a light, easy, airy knit because of the yarn that you're knitting with. You may also want to knit lacy items, loose items, breathable items, so that it feels a lot looser and a lot cooler when you're knitting. Those are the things you can really think about this time of year. The next thing you're going to do in the spring, I hope, is do some kind of cleaning, some kind of declutter. Do join us for that. The first email is actually going to go out this Saturday for our yarn declutter. But what we'll also do during that declutter is take a look through the patterns and the magazines that we've got. So do you have patterns and magazines from previous springs that can really inspire you? You'll go, oh yes, I wanted to knit that last year, but it never happened. And you just be inspired by something that maybe you didn't want to knit before, but now you do. Life circumstances have changed, so it makes more sense to knit one thing or the other now. All those patterns that you've got, they're there waiting to be knitted up. So go and have a look, see what you can find. You've got probably got books, you've probably got magazines that are relevant to this time of year. And talking about patterns and magazines, this is also the time of year that a lot of yarn manufacturers and publishers release new books because it's the spring summer collection. So go and have a look online if you want to. Give yourself a couple of hours in the afternoon, just because it's the weekend, just because you feel like it. 
go and have a browse through all of the different new patterns and see whether there's anything that catches your eye. A lot of yarn manufacturers will now have individual patterns available on the website either to download for free or just for a single price rather than you having to buy the whole book. And that does mean that you get a digital pattern as well. Um, you can easily print it off yourself, but it saves a lot of paper too. You don't have the whole magazine and the whole book sitting there if you only know you want to knit one pattern from it. So it will not only save you money, but it will save the planet too. So that's something to look at. Those new collections that are out there, is there something that inspires you to carry on knitting through this spring? Okay, I'm waiting for a community groan because guess what I'm gonna say next? I've probably said this in every other video where I'm talking about finding inspiration for knitting. And that is, do you want to knit for Christmas? Here in the Western world, in the UK, um, and in places in the world that celebrate Christmas, it's something that knitters do. We knit items for Christmas. So no matter when you are giving those gifts at Christmas or any other festival throughout the year, you can start knitting any time you like. Um, my mum started knitting a Christmas present this January because she had the yarn, she was inspired to knit something, and she said, that's going in my gift box, I know who I'll give it to next Christmas. And that's fine. You know as a knitter that you can do that. You can knit anything at any time of year, put it away and say, that's a gift sorted, that's a gift organised. If you do want to get going with your Christmas knitting now, then I do have a short course. It's a workshop with 12 short videos to help you plan what you want to knit for different people and then perfect those knits. Before you start knitting, think about the different aspects of what you're knitting to just make them perfect for the person who will receive it. So um, that's an option for you. I will leave the link in the description below. The last tip for you is to think about your stash and declutter. Now, like I've said already, do join us for the yarn declutter that's going on all the way through April. The first email will go out this Saturday and we'll have live videos throughout the month just guiding you through that, asking questions and sharing how you're getting on. I'd love to know how you're doing with it. But a yarn declutter can be really helpful, whether you've got just one small box of yarn or a whole room full of yarn or it's kind of stashed around in different places in the house so you forget how much you've got. <laughs> The beauty of decluttering your yarn is that you find the yarn that you've forgotten you have and you pick it out and you feel inspired by it. So you say, yes, that's what I'm knitting with next. It will not only tidy it up and organize it, but it will inspire you into knitting new items. Do you have works in progress that you might find as well? We'll go through those at the end of April too. And do you have kits that you've not even started? Are there still bags with the yarn, with the needles, with the pattern all ready for you to start knitting? And you've forgotten that you had them and they're there ready for you to knit up. So think about that too. If you want to join the Yarn Declutter, the link is in the description. We're going through this all together as a community, so it doesn't feel quite so difficult. And we're taking our time with it too. I'm not going to ask you to do everything all in one weekend. What I'm going to suggest is that we do one task every week, so it will feel easier. If you join the email list, then you'll get an email every week with PDF downloads just to help you and guide you through the tasks. So, like I said, it feels easier. Okay, so those are your tips for what you can knit in the spring. And I really do think that spring is a really great opportunity to say, okay, maybe I've been a seasonal knitter before, but now I can actually continue knitting and decide in the spring that I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna continue this habit because it's so good for me in so many ways. We've actually all discovered this in lockdown, that by knitting, we are keeping ourselves going. We're keeping the habits in place, the me time in place. And by prioritizing knitting, it's actually given us a lot of benefits. Take up all those ideas, think about those inspirations. Do you have events coming up that you'd like to knit for? How about switching up your yarn and the different items and the ways that you knit? Think about all of the patterns that you've got. Do you have magazines and books that you're just itching to get out and start rummaging through and knitting from um, this spring? Are you someone who wants to knit early for Christmas? Prepare early for Christmas. And is there anything else that you want to knit for that's coming up much later in the year and you can start knitting for that now? 
And what's in your stash yarn? What is there waiting to inspire you? You've forgotten how much summer and spring yarn you have sitting there waiting to be knitted up. Those are the tips for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And like I said, do go and join the declutter. Um, the link is in the description below. And do subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. I will be here um, talking about the declutter in a few lives over the next month. I'd love to have you join me for them. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting.